So this is day four on our visit to Rome and I've spent this morning visiting various departments in the Vatican uh, discussing issues that are very common to the life of our church uh, in the Anglican Communion and of course to the Catholic Church discussing issues about evangelization, Christian unity and interfaith dialogue and a, a theme that's run through our conversations is, is both in the way that we share faith with others, the way that we build community with people of other faiths, and indeed between the Anglican Communion and the Catholic Church, a, a theme of friendship, uh, that we need to get to know one another. And here I am this afternoon outside the Church of St Gregory the Great in Rome, which has been an incredibly moving part of our visit because um, behind me is the church where Gregory sent Augustine and of course for us in the north also in time Paulinus uh, to the mission to England to establish what became the Sea of Canterbury in 597, the Sea of York in 627 and, and to be in the church where Gregory sent Augustine was very powerful and then particularly o over a cup of tea uh, the prior uh, showed us the head of the crozier that Gregory the Great would have been carrying when he sent Augustine and just to be in the presence of this uh, beautiful object was to reach out through the centuries to such a key part of our national story and the story of the church in the islands where we live. So it's been a very moving afternoon reminding me that as Gregory sent Augustine, who sent Paulinus, uh, so each of us is sent. That's what it means when we say we're an apostolic church. We mean, yes, built on the faith of the apostles, something which is very real when you're in Rome, but also the church that is sent out today uh, to do the things that Gregory, Augustine, Paulinus, Peter, Paul did. Um, and I pray that may be so for our church in our day.